this particular book is extremely special and that no other book that covers this particular early period before the 1939 film really gets into detail about the TikTok Man of Oz. Fellow Aussians, I'm the Louisiana Quadling, a Wizard of Oz collector and enthusiast, sharing with you my thoughts, my collection, and a little bit of my musical talent with all of you. And welcome to my channel. Today, we are talking about a brand new book by Eric Shanauer, and that is All Wound Up, The Making of the TikTok Man of Oz. Now, for those of you that don't know a little bit about the TikTok Man of Oz, the TikTok Man of Oz is the third Wizard of Oz stage musical that L. Frank Baum created back in the early 1900s. This particular one came out in 1913. This was Baum's second attempt to make a sequel to the highly successful 1903 Broadway play The Wizard of Oz. Originally, this play was based off of Baum's third Oz book, Ozma of Oz, but over the course of the development of the play, and through a lot of restrictions that Baum had, um, in particular not being able to use any of the main characters from the original Wizard of Oz book, Dorothy, Scarecrow, Tin Man, and Lion, L. Frank Baum had to get a little creative with his characters and creating new ones, and also recycling other characters from various different Oz books to create this brand new play. What's kind of interesting, at least for me, about L. Frank Baum and how he adapted his own works is that he was really never that interested in continuity. He is always someone who could literally look at something and just completely reimagine it in a new way. And this play does that. Some other characters have interesting new backstories and share absolutely no resemblance to <coughs> what happened to them in the actual Oz books, and probably one of the bigger ones is Ozma. But all of this combined makes for a really interesting and different bomb story. Now, this particular play did eventually become an Oz book. And that was TikTok of Oz, appropriately titled, which does feature most of the characters from the book. Some of them are renamed, Ozma being one of them, <laughs> since he wasn't about to completely redefine her backstory, even though he does that later on in the book series. We won't get into that right now. <laughs> Baum was never really someone for continuity. But anyways, um, that's at least a little bit about the play. Now, this particular book is extremely special and that no other book that covers this particular early period before the 1939 film really gets into detail about the TikTok Man of Oz. There are some other books out there, like for instance, Oz Before the Rainbow, that talk about the 1903 Broadway play The Wizard of Oz in some pretty good detail. But it doesn't cover much of anything about the TikTok Man of Oz. So this particular book is definitely a must read if you were interested in finding out about this play. Now, besides the details about the play, the book also includes a section on the revival that Eric Shanauer did back for WinkyCon 50. And it also includes, and it also includes a biography for the play's composer, Louis F. Gottschalk. Now, he is not to be confused with another Louis Gottschalk who was born in New Orleans and is a very famous piano composer. 
If you've never heard any of his pieces, I would recommend looking them up. That's not to take anything away from Louis F. Gutschuk, who did the music for the TikTok Man of Oz. His music is fabulous. And if you're interested in hearing at least one of the pieces that he wrote the music for, I did do a recording of that. Now, if you do want to hear more than just that one piece, Hungry Tiger Press also has a CD of early Oz recordings. See him right here. And this lovely little baby includes so many great um, piano rolls and early recordings that were done of not only songs from the TikTok Man of Oz, but also songs from the early 1903 Wizard of Oz play and also the second Oz play, The Woggle Bug. Links to all of these things will be provided down below. Don't worry about it. Included separately from the book, Eric Shanauer has also made an entire script for the play available. And the third book, <laughs> there's three, is the score for the play. This one, I had to get this one <laughs> for obvious reasons. And um, this was a lot of fun to be able to see this music on white paper since if you are to collect the sheet music from back then, <laughs> They're not going to be on white paper, so it's really nice to be able to see it looking nice, crisp, and clear. I would definitely highly recommend this book. And the best part about it is that even though this thing is like extremely herky, it doesn't cost that much. This book by itself is $60 on the Hungry Tiger Press's website. Now, if you buy this from Barnes & Noble, it's going to be a little bit higher. I noticed on their website it's $75, but if you order all three from Hungry Tiger Press, they are offering a discount right now if you get all three together. And also, another thing, if you order from Hungry Tiger Press, they will also be signed by Eric Shanauer. So don't miss out on that opportunity to get a signed copy of these books. And that's pretty much all I've got to say. I don't want to spoil everything that's in the books um, as far as the details and just how many cool tidbits are in here. Yeah, you're really gonna like this. You're really gonna like this. Um, definitely worth picking up and adding to your Oz library. Have you picked up this new book? Let's have a discussion down in the comments section.